right, what's going on everybody? Afflicted Gamer here back with another division video. So Global Event Assault is going to launch roughly seven hours from the making of the moment that I am recording this video. And I know that I will get the question and many of you out there will be wondering what is the quickest and easiest way to acquire the masks in Global Event Assault. So I'm here on my PC account where I don't have all of them done, but I do on console. So I thought that I would go ahead and give you guys some tips to try to help you get them as quickly as possible. The first one, LMB Slayer, obtain 500 LMB kills during assault under the specified conditions. World Tier 5, hard difficulty or above, crucial or major assault. This one is a very straightforward, just get 500 kills. Yes, it is in stages and you'll get it just over the time of the weekend doing global event. Not a whole lot to it. The next one is leave no one behind. In a co-op, complete all assault missions without any agents using first aid, group heal, or support station. So this one is a little bit more difficult, but it can be done if you're wearing the right gear sets and you are using the right talents on your weapons. Even talents like self-preserved will be very helpful. Predatory is another one. Getting a kill will grant you a portion of your health back over so many seconds. Self-preserve, get a crit shot, get some of your health back. Things like that will help. In terms of gear sets, Path of the Nomad. If you do have the classified version, obviously wear the six piece. That will be very helpful for you and your team. And if you are running in a group that is communicating, which I do recommend, especially for Falcon Loss, if somebody's a tactician, go ahead and put up turrets, seeker mines, use skills that are any form of offense to keep you away from the enemies. That way you have less of a chance of being downed and you can go ahead and finish this without having to use any form of healing skills. If you don't have the classified version, if you have a ninja bike backpack, put together whether it is a few classified pieces because you don't have the full set or regular gear, Again, I would recommend using Nomad so you at least have the four set bonus and then whatever other gear set type that you're comfortable with, pick another one or even two pieces because with the Ninja Bike Backpack, you know, you can unlock however many talents based on how many pieces of gear you have on. If you're so new to the game that you don't have either one, hopefully you'll have at least a Relentless Backpack where when you have a deployed skill and you do get a kill, you will get a portion of your health back from that alone. So any way that you can get your health back, that is a bonus and that will go ahead and get you guys the leave no one behind mask. The final one is by far the most annoying to get, which is no surrender. Complete all assault missions without agents being downed or dead. And that includes Falcon loss. Has to be again on World Tier 5, hard difficulty or above, crucial or major, and one person goes down, it's over for everybody. The same thing is going to apply from the other mask, for the picky mask. I honestly would be wearing gear sets, like Path of the Nomad, to keep yourself going. If you're running in a squad of four, especially for things like Falcon Loss, if you do have a tactician, great, but you can use med skills, so... A Reclaimer build would be nice to have yourselves up and running all the time, even two if you want to, and at least have two people that can do a lot of damage. That is the best way that I can recommend you guys be set up. And again, in terms of talents, you're going to want a few things that will do some damage, like Deadly, Paired, Responsive, whatever your preference is that you like to use but again things like self-preserved and predatory are always going to come in handy especially especially for this one for the fact that you can't even go down or dead the other one's difficult too because you can't use any form of healing but even with this one still don't underestimate it and keep yourselves as well guarded as possible there's no quick, simple, easy way to simply go ahead and burn through these because of the specifications required to acquire the masks, but this is probably the best way that you and your teammates can go ahead and get them. Some of the missions you can obviously do solo, but because Falcon Lost is included, you will have to find a team. I honestly wouldn't matchmake unless you know everybody has a mic on, you know who's going to run 
what gear set and who's going to do what in terms of how you want to position and set up your team. But if you don't have a mic or communication, I wouldn't even attempt Falcon Loss. If you do, I do wish you all the best and good luck because that is quite difficult. So anyways, that is it for me. And that is how you guys can go ahead and get the masks from Global Event Assault. Any other questions or concerns, leave them down in the comments below. If you found the video helpful, drop a like on it. It's much appreciated. You can follow me on Twitter at AfflictedGamer. Stay in touch with me. Ask me any questions you'd like again on there as well. I will be streaming it from PC, PS4, and Xbox One. If you want to join, you're more than welcome to. Send me a friend request if you already haven't. Other than that, good luck, agents. Have a great time over the weekend in the global event, and I will see you soon in the next video.